Hey, what's up guys, Mike here, and today we're checking out the Nexus launcher, which was released at the beginning of August. Now, this is a pretty straightforward launcher. It's not too overly complex. It's very simple, very minimalistic with very little customization. I actually prefer that though, because it makes daily life pretty simple to use on your regular everyday usage. Now, one thing you are gonna notice once you get this installed is that the app drawer icon is no longer on your dock. And I actually like that because you get more well, real estate, you get it to put another icon down there for launching an application. So instead of the usual four applications, you now have five total. Now you are going to see a little arrow that is pointing up right above the dock, and this is actually your app drawer launcher. So once you tap on that, it will immediately open up your app drawer. But if you actually long press, hold it and swipe up, it's actually gonna give you a pretty nifty animation. One thing you will notice right when you're in the app drawer, if you do have a larger device like a Nexus 6P, is that you will have five column rows for your applications instead of the standard four from the Google Now launcher. Now, if you do have a smaller device or if you're using a OnePlus 3 like I am and you port this over, you are still gonna just have the standard four columns for your applications, but hey, it's not a big deal. It's actually pretty nice. Now, if you dive into the side here, if you are trying to get into your Google Now information with the APK file, you're not gonna be able to get in there you will have to flash the file or the zip file in order to get full feature access. If you long press and hold, you are gonna get your typical wallpaper widget setting features down there at the bottom. Now they did give you a new wallpaper picker which is introduced with the Nexus launcher. So down here you can get some pretty interesting wallpapers for the landscapes, skyscapes, cityscapes, and then your regular wallpaper information or your regular picture folders that you can dive into. So they did a good job there of giving you a little more customization. On the widgets, pretty standard here. The only thing they did change is that if you accidentally grab a widget you can actually cancel it out now it's a little bit more simplified a little more intuitive a little more productive overall your settings have been simplified so if you dive into these you are only going to get your application selections your show google app and your allow home screen rotation so if you want to get into your advanced features you will have to go into your google settings or you will have to swipe over to your google now dive into settings to get your more advanced menu options now, once you go into a horizontal landscape mode, you will be able to see that you do have more screen real estate from side to side, and everything is going to be pretty much the same. If you swipe over, you get your Google Now. If you tab on the side here, you'll get your app drawer launch. And if you swipe up, you'll still get that nice transition, that animation effect. Not too much change there, but they did a good job of keeping that intact and making that something available to you. Now, if you do hit the Recents button, you will be able to see two icons down there. You have your Google button, which basically opens up a search bar or you have your microphone that you can tap on and just go straight into a voice command. Overall, this is a pretty great launcher. It's very well done, it's very simple, it's not too overly complicated, and it's probably gonna be the one that everyone goes to for very simple usage, and I'm actually looking forward to it on the new Nexus devices or the new stock Android 7.0 once that comes out and is made available or official. But yeah, that pretty much sums up this launcher, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely hit the like button like a boss. Leave some comments or feedback down below on this launcher, what you guys think about it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and support me. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next video.